Nice little shake. All right, what is going on, beaches? It is UTG. Back again with another video. Um, you know, there's only, there's only gonna be so many nice days left in the year. Um, we're gonna have a new series, Driving While Bitching. <laughs> it seems that, I hate parking lots. It seems that this is what that channel's become. Hey! Fucking slow down, you chumps. It's 11.20 in the morning. Already packed at the mall. Uh, went and got a haircut, looking fresh. Got them eyebrows done, looking real pruned. Um, and I want to complain. Got the jewel. Stop smoking cigarettes months ago. Months ago, guys. And this is a, a good alternative. But these are, they're still not great. We're gonna stop at some point, one step at a time. So, PS5 is officially out. I think it came out on what, Thursday? Today is now Saturday, two days later. And I see in my recommended videos, why you should get the PlayStation 5 now. Why get it now? Let's talk about that. Um, you're gonna get a 4K Blu-ray player. I'm assuming it plays 4K Blu-rays. You have that going for you. You have a hovercraft modem. That's what it looks like. Uh, $500. Um, complete short supply. You'll be lucky to find one. Uh, the only way you'll find one in the store now is if you go back in a fucking time machine, you bring back like Abe Lincoln or something. All right, there's some Bill and Ted shit. Okay, it's not gonna happen, people. Now, why do you need it now, though? Why would you need a PS5? What are you gonna play, Bloodborne? I'll give you that, if you wanna play a Bloodborne remake. If not, you can play Sackboy. Um, you can play whatever else just came out on your PS4. I'm assuming that a majority of the people who are buying a PS5 have a PS4. Awesome. Your games are gonna be exactly the fucking same but what are you gonna get? You're gonna get 1080 60 on your PS4. Better frame rate, okay? Possibly 1440p. I don't know how customizable a console is. Um, you're gonna get 4K at 30 frames, which I know it's not locked at, at 30 frames. There's no way, I know these consoles are powerful, <coughs> but I don't see it being at a steady 30 frames. So what we're talking about here is a $500 machine playing next-gen games at lower than 30 frames. I don't even have to look this up to tell, and I'm probably wrong now that I said this. I probably don't have to look this up to tell you that you're gonna be getting a hacked performance, okay? So it's not necessary that you get the PS5 now. If, if you want to be an early adopter, go for it. That's your prerogative. But if you want to save 500 bucks, what you could do is take that 500 bucks and funnel that into a, a budget gaming PC that's going to play almost everything your PS5 is going to play anyway at better frames, at a better resolution, with better controls, arguably, because you have a mouse and keyboard. Can you tell why I didn't buy the PS5 and Xbox One? I was. Oh, that's a cool dog, man. He got some big ears. Um, I was, but the Xbox, I would be buying for 4K support on back compact games. Um, so it, it's a completely different uh, market as to why you would get either of these consoles. You have different reasons. All the games that are on Xbox, all the games that will be exclusive on Xbox are on my gaming PC already, no problem. Better frames, better resolution, better everything. More custom, custom uh, customization, okay? I've already rebought all of my 360 and PS3 games on Steam as it is. Um, this guy's tailgating the shit out of me. Um, guys, you can get one, but, but don't believe this big fervor online with all these YouTubers that you see. Buy it now. This is next-gen gaming. Get the PS5 now. 
What you guys also don't understand is that these people who are shilling the PS5 are given a copy by Sony. Not saying that the PS5 isn't gonna be a good machine. Not saying that these people don't enjoy what they would have purchased if they were you or me. But take it with a grain of salt. They, they're paid by Sony with a console that they get to keep for them to tell you to buy it. So it, it's an unpaid, it's a paid advertisement is what it is. So do you need the PS5 now? No, you can get away with your PS4 for the next year, year and a half. And Sony knows this. That's why the games are upgradable. That's why they're being released on both platforms. It's it's the beginning of a new generation. And this is some shit that we've seen since the N64. The N64 and the PS1 were getting Pro Skater 3. PS1 got Pro Skater 4. The PS1 got all these extra sports games on top of what was coming out at the beginning of the PS2 era. And this was shit that I saw 18 fucking years ago. So so don't sit here and tell me that I need to get the PS5 now because you're fucking lying. Because it, it is what it is, people. And I know a lot of the viewer base is younger, and I'm not dogging on you if you're younger, but you don't, you know, you didn't live through like six console generations at this point, like the majority of us uh, adults on, on YouTube have. So yeah, guys, don't be upset if you're, you know, 10, 13, 14, 15 years old and your parents couldn't get a PS5 for you. We live in some difficult times. Production quantities are limited. You guys know this. Your parents are struggling. You're struggling. It's okay if you have a PS4 or an Xbox One right now. But it's also even better if you got a gaming PC because then you get to bypass a lot of this bullshit. And when you get, when you get your gaming PC, you know, hey, hey, oh, if I didn't anticipate that motherfucker getting in my line of fire. See, I was ready to hit that horn right there. Mm, I hate driving. But this is a lot of the only times I have to make a video are, are when I'm driving. And I drive two places. I drive to work and the grocery store. That's about it. Today I had to go get a haircut. At the same mall that I, that I work at, actually. So I get to go home, shower, maybe play some Ring Fit Adventure. We'll get some of those jogging hours in. And then I get to come back to work. So subscribe to my Patreon. The link will not be in the description. <laughs> but give me your fucking money on a side note. Give me all of your Patreon dollars. If you pay me 20 bucks a month, you can access my Discord. You can pay to be my friend, people. That's on a side note. That'll be another video. Maybe I'll film that on the way to work uh, when I come back. Patreon. Go to work so I don't have to. All these people who are showing the PS5, you gotta go to work to get your PS5. <laughs> they just review it. In 2013, when the other consoles came out, I didn't even buy them. I didn't get a, an Xbox One until 2018. <coughs> so, you know, whatever. I went four years without a next-gen system. The Switch was my next-gen system at first. Got the Xbox One, and then in 2020, I finally took the plunge. Got the gaming PC, and I, fuck, I haven't looked back. I have not looked back one fucking time since I got that thing. Oh my God. You know, on a side note, I was playing Halo 3, Halo 4, we were with my boys back in the 2018 on Xbox One. I was like, man, this is running better than before, man. It can't get much better than this. Master Chief Collection on PC. 327 frames a second on Halo 4. And it looks incredible. Hooked that out to my TV. Shit. I'm not going to play it in 4K. Because my processor ain't going to handle that shit. Well, it will, but it'll bottleneck it at 30 frames like your PS5. <laughs> anyway. I can't look back. Gaming PC, guys. Guys got to get one. Did I stop the video?